Hello everyone, I'm using the chesswithknarik.com website. I'm Women International Master Knarik and I am playing against the, some users who have registered and uh, are challenging me to, to a game. So let's see. Um, I've been playing with, with this player uh, a few times, but she's been blundering uh, in the last few games. So let's see what's going to happen in this game. So uh, another mistake that, that I noticed that this uh, user is uh, making is that uh, early on during the game she's developing the queen and uh, moving the same pieces several times, not finishing her development. For example, pawn to c3, pawn to c4, queen to um, a4, queen to b3. Uh, these are all not, not okay because uh, okay, it's, uh, it's wasting time. And uh, I'm supposed to be black, I'm supposed to be behind in development, but um, okay, I'm okay in this, in this position, I'm okay to play this position, because my, uh, okay, um, I think that's another blunder, because I don't see any threats after, after capturing, I don't see any disadvantage here, let's see, yeah, I think these are just, um, just uh, major mistakes. Okay, that uh, that white is is doing. Uh, well, you can avoid doing blunders if you solve a lot of a lot of puzzles, and of course, if you keep on playing, you will start noticing blunders faster. For example, such a move will not pass. Let's say by default, I I know that when are when there are two pawns. Um, that are defending a square, it's not easy to push a pawn there or to put a piece there. It's really not easy because, okay, to capture back, she has to give up a, um, the queen. Uh, okay, she has to give up the bishop. I mean. But now, okay, blundering the queen as well. So, um, I suggest for, uh, let's say, this player to um, play a lot of games. Definitely practice the puzzles on our website on chesswithclarity.com. If you go to the puzzles, there are uh, thousands of puzzles that you can practice with. You can start with one star puzzles. With a one star puzzle, uh, there are easy ones. Then there are the two stars puzzles, and then the, the three stars one, uh, which are the most challenging ones. And our puzzles are very special because when you solve the puzzle and you don't understand it, or uh, even if you do it correct or you do it wrong and you don't understand it, even if you understand it and you want you want to know more about the position, there is a uh, for every single single puzzle that you solve, you can hear uh, an explanation. Of course, you can read it too, but uh, you can just uh, listen to an explanation um, on the chessboard. Uh, explaining what's the good move, why wasn't a specific move the good move, uh, etc. Of course, this is very useful if you have uh, children using this website, because usually children who don't read yet, or, or who are not very fluent, or don't like to read, or <laughs> it's, it's going to be very easy for them to just listen to the explanation uh, after every puzzle, or after every puzzle that they don't get correct. Let's see. Okay, uh, so I think here I have what plus eight. If I was white, I would resign. That's another four, right? Is it another four, or can they capture? But at this point, I, I really don't care. You know, even if I'm losing point, all I want is to just uh, trade pieces. But let's let's uh, let's play correctly. But I think it's difficult. Okay, so let's push this pawn. I could have played knight f6, but uh, let's just play this pawn. Probably, what should white play? No, capture is not so good. It's not so good. Hmm. Okay, now plus 10. Okay, I think um, let's try to, to get another piece on the f3 square because now we are pinning the e2 pawn on the e file since they didn't castle. This is another mistake this opponent is doing that, okay, staying behind in development because of that is not castling. Um, and it's really, really strange for me because sometimes, let's say, tricks like this, they were able to see that I want to capture the knight on f3 twice and use the pin. But then uh, doing a one move blunder. Uh, 
which is very strange for me. How, how is this happening? Or maybe they played knight to g1, not to avoid the loss of the piece, but to uh, capture my rook that was on a8. Maybe that, that, that's why it just happened that they played this correct, uh, this move. Okay, let's see. Let's trade, okay, because I have more pieces, I, I can just trade and uh, things are gonna be easy for me. Okay, now, she is castling. Now maybe we can win this pawn. She's gonna capture my bishop, maybe. But then I capture with a check, otherwise, uh, yes, I would have lost the piece that's on the seven. Okay, uh, I think we, we don't really need to calculate here, unless she checks mates, checkmates me with a Let's say back rank checkmates in one move that I miss. I will never lose this game. Actually, I have played such a game in uh, the World Championship. It was my first international world uh, international tournament. I was playing the World uh, Championship under twelve. It was in um, France, and uh, I was playing against uh, one uh, girl who, at the end of the tournament, she was the runner-up of the tournament. She was second in the, in the world championship. And uh, she had a huge material advantage against me, so I'm playing this move so that I can checkmate and I don't see how my opponent will stop it. Uh, and she was, <laughs> she was material ahead and she was capturing my pieces. And then uh, I was just trying to find a way for my rook to reach the back rank all the time. And uh, she's winning my pieces, and, and I could checkmate her back rank, and she was very upset about it, and she, she came second in the world championship because of me. <laughs> okay, so that was, uh, okay, so uh, from this game we can just say that, um, okay, white should have definitely avoided blunders, uh, and definitely should have um, developed pieces, not waste time in the beginning of the game, by pushing pawns or moving with the queen more than once, just develop pieces castle in the beginning of the game. That's the soundest way that you can play.